Okay, today we're going to go over the uh, Ecobee. I got the Ecobee 4 for my friend, and these are the back end settings. Um, installation went okay. Um, I had an extra wire in the bundle. It was an old mechanical thermostat that was on there, and I had an extra wire in the bundle so I could so I could use that for the C wire. If you don't have an extra wire in the bundle and you're changing your thermostat from a four wire to a five wire thermostat, uh, check out our site. I'll put the link in the bottom. Uh, so you can handle that uh, with these. Uh, Ecobee has another solution for that also if you don't have an extra wire. But uh, otherwise, uh, if you want to do it another way, you just have to pull another bundle of wire through there and I recommend you go to Lowe's and buy the buy 18.5 uh, solid thermostat wire it's a uh, five wires in the bundle it's all wrapped up just to be on the safe side go ahead and get 18.7 or 18.8 wire and you'll have extra wires in the bundle so in the future if there's a problem you can uh, use those extra wires to, in place of whatever happens, if a wire breaks or, you know, just something happens, uh, you'll have an extra wire in the bundle to help you out. Okay, anyhow, we have uh, this Ecobee uh, interface here. There is some setup on your app. If you want geofencing, uh, you have to install the app on your smartphone you have to put geofencing on there. What geofencing is, is um, basically it's a setback feature where you say you leave and drive, you know, I don't know, five miles away. It's, it's up to you where you set it at. It's a big circle that goes around where, you know, your house is. And you set that, um, you set the diameter of that circle based on what you think. So if you're going to I mean, if you drive an hour away, you can set it for like 60 miles. And then when you go, when you cross out of that 60 mile circle, your smartphone senses it. It tells it could be, it could be, uh, set your thermostat back. So you're not, your air conditioning heating system won't be running when you're outside of that circle. So this feature is good for some people, but it's not good for other people. If you have people that are always at home, that's, that's not a good feature for you. Anyhow, uh, Let's get into the settings here on the interface on online. So basically it's ecobee.com, consumer portal, consumer portal index.html devices, and then you log in and it connects with your thermostat. Uh, once you set everything up initially, um, if you have somebody helping you with that, then they should, they should help you take care of that. This is the ecobee 4 with Alexa. Uh, right now we have that turned off. It'll, it'll, It'll respond to uh, voice signals, and you can, if you have any other Ecobee, uh, or I'm sorry, if you have any other Alexa device in your house, then um, you can change the setting on the thermostat automatically by voice. So all you have to do is say the command, Alexa, turn the thermostat to 72 degrees. The AC is set to 72. Okay. Alexa will automatically change that setting for you and so I mean if you're busy doing something or you're in bed and you're too cold or you're too hot then you can change the the settings by voice um, through your Ecobee device and it doesn't have to be through the thermostat so you don't have to yell you can just use your Ecobee 2 or 3 or whatever they have now for Ecobees for the Alexa devices and uh It'll, it'll change the uh, thermostat for you automatically via voice, and it'll confirm it also. Okay, first thing we see is the display here, and it tells us 67% humidity. The, the HVAC system is set to cooling. You got the snowflake here. That means it's set to cooling. The current temperature inside is 70 degrees. The setting for the thermostat is actually 72, which I changed that via voice. It didn't change here. But if you ever want to, like, Go on your laptop and change the setting. You can do this on the app also. I'll try to video some of the app. So I'm not really set up for that, but um, I'll try to video some of the app so you can see. Right now it's 72 and holding because I selected that. Hold 72 for two hours, four hours until home, until I change it. Um, I usually select until I change it because unless it's really hot outside or really cold, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable at 70 or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So... 
I'll leave it. I'll leave it like that. And this this will default back after the two hours or whatever, whatever the setting is when you change it. It'll default back to your setback settings, whatever you have it set in the program, or until you get home. So this is home and hold. This is away and hold. Uh, there are two different settings for this. And if you're at home and you want to keep it 70 degrees inside, then you click that. If you're away and hold, you might not want it at 70 degrees. You might want it, say it's summertime and it's 90 degrees outside average. Um, you might want to set it for 80 or 82 or 85. Um, so the system doesn't run that much while you're not at home. And that's what makes the geofencing so good is, say I got it set for 60 miles and I take a trip and drive 100 miles. And while I'm doing my business in that you know, outside of that 60 miles, say I'm gone all day, I go to a doctor's appointment 100 miles away, uh, and I'm at the doctor's for four hours, then I go do some shopping, and then I start driving home. Once I cross inside of that 60 mile circle that I set, then the thermostat will automatically uh, change back to your setting and turn the system on. So that way, when you arrive home, it's not 85 degrees in your house or it's not 80 degrees in your house. So that's a really cool feature that you want uh, for your system. Uh, settings. We'll go into settings. Okay, time. Of course, most people want the 12-hour format um, instead of the 24. If you're in the military, you probably want the 24-hour format. Location, you set all this up in the app, in the mobile app. And that's bases off your smartphone and the geofencing feature helps that out. Um, that. You have to set the location for your thermostat. Then the preferences, uh, Celsius, um, your heat set point range. Typically, the lowest you can go is 45 degrees. And that's like, you know, if it's winter time and I leave and I go to, I don't know, whatever, I travel more than 60 miles away, then the thermostat will set back. And I don't set it back to 45, I set it back to 55. And basically that... That prevents you from uh, having frozen pipes and all that, from completely shutting off your system. You don't want to do that because, you know, of course, you take the chance of having frozen pipes. So we don't want that. The cool range set point, 65 to 92. Again, I, I choose anywhere between 80 and 85 for that top range setting there on the set point because... I mean, I, this is South Texas, and it can get it can get fairly hot in the, in the summertime. 100, 105, 110 degrees is not uncommon in the summertime, and I don't want the inside of my house getting that hot. So uh, usually 80, 85, and while the air conditioner may run all the time, you know, when when it's really extremely hot outside, it doesn't take that long to cool the house down. Once I set it to, you know, say I'm coming home or I'm on my way home, and I come within that geofencing range of that 60 miles, you know, it, it it won't take that long to cool the house off. Whereas if you turn it off, it will take a longer time. Uh, your house will build up heat inside, inside the walls, everything. And it takes a long time for your uh, system to pull that heat out of the house. So keep that in mind. Just some little helpful tips there for you. Hold action, decide at the time of change. Uh, and you can set this by default. And that's why I, I put decide at the time of change. Because sometimes I only want it two hours. Sometimes I want it four hours. Sometimes until I change it back. And that's usually when I get uncomfortable. Anyhow, back to settings. Access control. You can enable this to uh, set a pin or password so that nobody else can change the thermostat settings except for you or whoever has that pin. And this feature is good for like public locations if you set up the thermostat in like the doctor's office or you set it up anywhere where somebody else has access to it and you don't want them messing with the thermostat. So you can you can lock people out of the thermostat. Property characteristics. This tells you, you know, square feet, number of doors, number of floors, number of bedrooms, the whole thing. And, you know, if it's an apartment, a condominium, a detached house, a condominium, you know, whatever. And then reset schedule preferences. This will reset everything back to factory default, which... After you set it up, you don't want to do that. Okay, system currently is set to cool. You have these features here. This is not anything out of ordinary, so we won't spend a lot of time on this, explaining this, but you can set everything up there. This is really a simple thermostat setup. Whether you have you know, an air conditioner, a heat pump, you have an air conditioner with gas or air conditioner with electric, this is, this is fairly easy to set up. Um, schedule. 
this is where you set your schedule and it's fairly self-explanatory so i won't spend a lot of time going into it but uh 6 30 a.m is the start and then 11 30 p.m is the end and you can set this up away home and sleep so that way you know say you leave the house at seven o'clock in the morning that's what you want the 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 temperature to default to once you leave the house based on your schedule based on whatever schedule you put in here and it allows you to do it on a daily basis so that way you know you work monday through friday saturday sunday you want it different then when you're home uh, of course Again, uh, Monday through Friday, it's going to be different than Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, you don't want it to set back. So you can set these for whatever desired temperature you want. Anyhow, you can add add an activity here, whatever you want to add. It's it, Again, it's all self-explanatory, and it's fairly easy to set up right here on the center. Sensors, you can have a sensor um, so that, say, you have upstairs, downstairs, or you have a, a big long ranch house you can set the sensor up how this works on the control of the system overall let's see if your ecobee detects occupancy during a scheduled away period or detects no occupancy during a scheduled home period it will automatically override the schedule to maximize comfort settings so it's basically geared for comfort and let's see it tells you about the thermostat the firmware alexa voice control you can turn that on and off right now this is off you you can uh, unlink Alexa so it doesn't have anything at all in there. This gives you a local weather forecast for the location where we are at. My friend lives in Eagle Pass, so uh, Texas. So anyhow, that, that gives you a basic weather, and it does the same thing on the thermostat. Um, I'll try to videotape that also, the thermostat, so you can see in this video okay fan auto home iq let's get into that this is basically tells you and i'm not sure where they collect their data from they, they probably get it other ecobee thermostats installed in the area i'm sure that that's what the case but you can compare your savings over what other people use and so i'm a little ahead of the curve i think i'm not at the bottom i'm not at the top i'm kind of like in the 70 percent range uh, which I think is is pretty good. So I do a fairly good job of maintaining uh, a decent energy savings, and that's really what all these smart thermostats is about: is saving energy. Not not to mention the extra features of remote control monitor. If the system goes way out of whack, way out of range, like something is wrong, say the air conditioner's broke or the heater's broke, when the system falls below your preferences here. Like when it goes above 92 degrees in, in this house, then what happens is Ecobee will send you a message telling you that something's wrong. The, the temperature is way out of whack for, you know, so you'll know if you're traveling, if you're like, you know, like I do, I travel a lot. If you're 500 miles away and there's something wrong with your, then it'll tell you, it'll tell you something's wrong. And so you can, you'd have the ability to call somebody and get it fixed so that way you don't have to worry about frozen pipes or you know 100 degree house when you get home so ecobee's real good with that um also on the on the app you can do everything here on the app no 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 i take that back you have a lot of features on the app uh that you can set up anyhow that's the ecobee 4 setup uh, it could be four with Alexa, so you can um, use it to change the temperature, monitor, remote monitor, control, geofence, set up a schedule, um, monitor your system from around the world, anywhere in the world where you have an internet connection or mobile phone connection, uh, you can monitor your, your air conditioning heating system. So I'll put the link down uh, below uh, where you can get one of these and, and the best price on it. So good luck, and uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to uh, leave it in the comments below or visit our website, highperformancehvac.com, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.